I'm blind as fuck. Nah, it's race. Again, three flankers from EG. Vandal picked up Asna fighting back towards sewers, and he gets the 3k. Next time, yeah. Move up to fight in spawn. Good foothold to fight from, and Cloud's left alone. Two more opponents to take down. He's done it before. He's been phenomenal <gasps> so far. And now it's just one. He's low HP, though. This should be cold at this round. The last one, no but there it is. <laughs> Giants again. Can't imagine that this is anything more than a little bit of a throwaway. Talk about the breach. How good is it for re-clearing the space here? Although I don't think any of the Uto connected. This has given Casey big issues oh, now. Through the flash as well. Down. They lost Spike. They have control of B site, but That's... not B main and not the Spike. Yeah, Spike was still coming in through spawn. They had three coming in through heaven, and really that was the gameplay. That was the plan to pull it all together. And at this point, it looked to be such a good round for KC. But Yampi stamps all over them with a flawless. Oh no. Of course Shin is playing though. He was trying to hide inside the Astro Wall, but the the Nol The Cypher uh, is so Nol good here. Nats is gonna spot him out, force him back into They're gonna swing pillar. Now TL aware of What the, the fuck? It's another 5v3 loss! Another 5v3 loss with an ace from Yampi! Another 3v5 ace from Yampi! Killing that lurk on Moj outside of A though is really big now because now they can't fight into Link. Foot have to go the opposite direction over towards C, which is absolutely crazy. They've been forced away, but they've still got the control, right? That's the problem. But the, the thing is, they only have control over one entry point into B, so now you have to send Atta Captain on this wraparound towards the opposite side. This is really hard for Foot to play. And they've got Destrian waiting off towards the left, sure enough. No, both taken down. They've cracked it wide open, but they've got to get it no. and find the kills, Kiwi! We wonder when he might appear in a 4K is one way to announce a grand entry into this game. Every single round, like you look at the take that's going for, I think BBO are almost going to be confused in Angel's position. Aslan just not checking it, the flash gets nothing oh! and Angel just taking this round on his own. Suchni the only one remaining and once I get to will put him in the dirt. The radius of B main. Hunter's Fury then on to the defense, but there's that position from Zephyr, lands onto the second kill, dodging the blade from to get the third, and counts in with the Odin, fragment on the ground. And Zephyr even falls back, running that clock down, well done. 100 Thieves are now trying to move into the site, it's a four versus two. Bang. Demon Lurk and Ash are back onto a third into this round. And now Bang, oh, looking for the transfer, and he's gonna get it! Yeah. The Red Bull Clutch of 4K into the round! The problem is he's in the site, so unless he's gonna pop it early, I don't know if it's gonna play that much of a part. There it it's is. not like he can get out of there. And actually, they've, they've TP'd a player into the back of site. So the goal here from Brave is just to try and defend this. And in fact, they're just going to try and escape. Too late. So many of them, I think, are going to get caught by what? this. Yeah, in fact, a multitude. And the oh. defender's dead as well. That was the man that could have caused the issues. Kushin has just wiped them all out. And they had some good positions as well to catch Navi off guard. That's the thing, this round is a perfect example of Na'Vi reading exactly what their opponents are going to do. Like, okay, you know they have Nightfall, let's stand in spots where no matter where they use this Nightfall... Ideas with the utility, now re-aggressing Bonecold. Here they go, trying to catch him on the timing! 
They get both as well. Kiwi's the one doing it. Great bit of util coming into the night away. But Molsi up close. He's going to find two. He's going to shut everything down. Take all the bite out of that execute and keep Vitality going. Modge left it a 1v3. They're on every single angle for Mush. He's had so many insane rounds before, but with the utility just being thrown at him. Unrelenting. And then maybe more, but they don't even get half. Through the smoke with the frenzy, jogging with that leg flank. There's half. Also under attack towards that B main. We got a fight inside the window. Works out for a bit, but it's still a two versus one. Jogging will make it a one versus one. Austin on low HP. Should I say bang on the low HP? And Jogging will comes in. For the floor K in the clutch. The late smoke there actually provides Jogamo with the cover. He's managed to survive all that util for nothing. And that's it, it is the support that's coming through. Sagetsu though, well he's met his end. They have an idea that Zip Man's here on the drop though. They seem to have forgotten, focused elsewhere as the teammates come out of spawn to deal with them and they're not doing Ooh. that. Zip Man's got them all. Oh, that, they hadn't done too much scouting up through mid or anything like this. They're just deciding to a slightly delayed commitment onto the A site and <laughs> Wait, <laughs> can you take those off? Yes, I guess. I don't think you can. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. There's probably not all that much that you can hear after a pistol round that's going to change the outcome too much. I'm literally watching Navera put the headphones back in his head right now. What is going on? <laughs> He's in spawn. <laughs> he didn't buy. He forgot to buy with oh. 3,500 credits because he took his headphones off. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of belief in the team here, I think, I'm to get this one over the line. I'm about to have my sideshow splattered <laughs> egg moment! <laughs> Entertaining, if nothing else. No, no, I forgot to buy. I mean, I've just given up on this map at this point. The CSGO players and Valve have hired Carmen Core to troll as much as they can in the franchise leagues for Valorant so that we all think Valorant is a silly child's game and we all go back to play Counter-Strike 2. That's what's happened here. It's all a mass conspiracy started by Valve. Is it any coincidence that a lot of the Carmen Core players have, you know, storied CS careers? No, or maybe some of them not that storied as well, but you know, uh, CS careers? Okay. It's okay, though. No, it's, it's not a coincidence. Gabe is behind this. Blank.